Hey guys, it's Tox here with a small little mini series on how to mod slash model stuff in Arma 3. This first episode is going to be how to mount your P drive. Um, but before we get into that, I need to kind of talk about a few stuff like how the series is going to work, the layout, etc. Um, if you are not interested in that stuff, there'll be a timestamp in the bottom right here where you can just go there and it'll start off on how to mount your P drive. Um, so for those who have stayed, this is going to be a very small, like five, six episode series where I walk through every step of modeling a very simple model and putting it into Arma. Um, there's also going to be a part of the end where I go through every every single one of your guys' comments. Uh, I look through your uh, opinions and everything and your questions, and I'll make an entire video on answering your questions to the best of my ability. And uh, But before we continue, full disclosure, I am really new to the modding community in Irma. I am, I do not, like I'm, probably been modding for almost a month now not very long the reason i'm making this video is because while i was trying to learn how to i found it extremely difficult to learn because every video was either out of date um just completely wrong or had different there was like different methods and ideologies on how you should mod so I was trying to just make one all-inclusive video uh, series where it just shows you all the basics you need. And if you need anything more nuanced, you can go to one of those other videos or talk to one of the other creators in the community, which are, have been here a lot longer than I have. Okay, so uh, now let's start it. So first things first, there's going to be two three main things you're going to want to do but for right now we're just mounting our p drive so there's going to be really two main things you need so first we need steam obviously we want to go to our library go to this little drop down menu and just select tools unselect everything else for now you want to scroll down until you see arma 3 tools arma 3 servers and arma 3 samples you don't need servers to my the best of my knowledge there's really no reason to ever install it i could be wrong but i see no reason so you want to install arma 3 tools and arma 3 samples samples just for the later modeling slash modding part of this it is not necessary for right now as far as mounting a p drive is concerned okay you want to launch launch this okay You're gonna want to, once it's launched, you're gonna want to left click on performance, preferences, oh, dyslexia, <laughs> options. Uh, you want to unclick these, these should be clicked. And you see right here, I have, go to your Steam library, go to wherever you put your Steam games and find wherever you have your Arma 3 uh, X, XEL or whatever file and copy the path from that and put it here. So then th these are going to be the exact same. Then you want to click this button right here and this part of it's done. Okay. Next, what you're going to want to do is you, you see this little button right here. But before we do that, there is one other step I want. And that is going to be, we want to go and download this. There, I'll put a link in the description. Basically, these are toolbox, kind of like, this is towards like the end stages of the series where I'll explain what this is but I would suggest you downloading it now and not forgetting it. It's this one down here, the uh, all-in-one installer, I believe that's what it stands for. Um, download it, I already have it downloaded. Then it's going to be 
once you click it, it's going to be this one. You're going to want to open it up. Do, do, do. Okay. Oh, my. Uh, yes. Uh, out of date. You want to update this as frequently as you can. might take a minute. I've actually never updated this. I forgot to log on to it. It's pretty quick. Just get it, install it, um, check for updates. It's you, it, There is a paid version. I do not use the paid version. I have no idea what the paid version has. If you're serious about modding, I would probably suggest getting the paid version. It's made by Sticky. Um, but or at least the all-in-one installer is, I believe. I'm not sure if the actual tools are. Um, if you're serious about it, I suggest getting it. But I am... I do this more as a hobby and for my unit. Uh, so I see no reason of getting it. See right here, spy. Okay, once that's done, should be pretty quick. Easy. That's that's finished. You're going to want to go... Do, 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 do. Yeah, it canceled. Or I turned it off. I forgot. Relaunch ARM3 tools. Project. Drive. Manager. You want to do mount the work drive P. Run that. This will mount your project drive. Yes. Okay, that goes through it. It won't be as fast as mine is. I already have a P drive. Next, you want to do is extract game data. This could take up to 30, 40 minutes. God, what's happening? Yes. Okay. This could take up to 30, 40 minutes. I have no clue how long. It depends on you. I think mine's already mounted, so I don't need it. Yeah. My stuff's already here. It probably wouldn't hurt to go do it again. Then again, this is like this. Is, I'm not sure if it will or won't hurt. Um. Right, yep. Um. I'll get back when it's done. Uh, that took longer than I want to talk about. <laughs> I uh, almost fell asleep. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's finish this up. We are close to the end. And then I can go sleep <laughs> for a little bit. Okay, now that you extracted game data, you mounted your work drive, uh, aka your P drive. Um. It's really the only thing you need from this um, terrain uh, object builder will come later and uh, later that's towards the end um, I'll explain uh, I'll explain add-on builder later um, really those are the only two things you need from there okay so before we do anything else I want you to go to your new P drive now that you're here in this magical place which took way too long to get you want to create a identifier kind of something which your mod something which your mods will be like named or like it's more like a config file thing so that way whenever like you put it in your convert files you put it there like you see right here I, I have NCIF that's the name of my unit that I am a part of and it's also um there's this entire website which will tell you all the identifiers that every single other um like modder is using etc modder uh, map maker is using so that way no one uses the same one so that way your mods will play nicely with other people's 
if you don't use one of these, there's a small but still chance that your config file will look too similar to another mod's config file and it could cause a hard crash, it could cause unforeseen problems, it could just be weird. Um, it probably does not happen that often, but let's say in like in my config file, I named it a name. I was making a helmet and I called it helmet. <laughs> uh, let's say someone else, I download two mods and another mod one uh, has another helmet and it's also called helmet in its config file. The game will then be confused on which helmet I'm talking about. At least that's my basic understanding on why we use them. So create your own. I'll have the link down in the description um, where you can go to find to see if the one you're trying to use is already taken. Um, usually it's four letters. I have minus NCIF. So you want to create one which is like NCIF and these would be your kind of uh, just mods just like where you begin to work on stuff and this is just a backup file for some stuff I don't use it much so you want to create one which is just like your identifier and then you want to make uh, inside of that you want to make your identifier and mods for your mods and then that's where your actual mod folders goes um, at least that's the way I did it you also want to make another one just called mods. It doesn't need to have the identifier. I have it. And this is where your finished projects, your mods, which are completely done go. And you, it, it would look similar to this. It would have at and then something. Okay. Once that is done, you're basically completely done setting up your P drive. You're done. Um, yeah, you're done with your P drive. You have your, I'll go to it, your mi micro tools things. Uh, project, it should be under project files. And then you want to make sure you have this because we are going to be using this one at the very end. There are two school of thoughts when it comes to finishing a mod, to my understanding. There is the people who like using the built-in, did it really not launch? Sometimes that happens. What do you expect? <laughs> Honestly, the tools, I, this is the reason I... I have a really big hatred towards this entire page right here. <laughs> so there's two schools of thoughts. One which people use add-on builder. Um, and... So you can use add-on builder. It's a little different from the way I'm going to show you in this video. And it's faster, but less reliable than the way I'm going to show you. So there's that school of thought. And then there's a school of thought of people who say, that sucks. I hate that. Bohemia Interactive doesn't make great tools. I'm on that side. So I'm going to use this one. And this one is so much more accurate this is yes yes good use this <laughs> use this if you can i sometimes use both depending on what i'm trying to do depending on how lazy i'm feeling i hit my mic on accident um so yeah so that's why you installed this that's at like the literally the last episode is when i go over this I, but that's the end of the episode. Uh, thank you all for watching so much. If you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, please give me a like. If you had any questions, give me a comment. I would love to 
have as many questions as possible for that last video and try answering as many of them as I can. Um, if you like this style of content, this isn't the only thing I do on the channel. Please give me a, a subscribe if you like. Uh, I do a lot of gaming, as the name says, talks games. I just do whatever I feel like. And it's often just really stupid challenges. Eh. Well, have a great day. Stay safe out there. See you guys on your side.